Hello dear learners, we have already learnt in the first part of this session about two organisms which affect human health. There are many such organisms which are either parasitic or pathogenic to the human beings. Each of these organisms can be identified by their distinguishing features based on which they are classified. They live in a specific part of the human body and have precise food requirement. These organisms cause various diseases in the human body characterized by definite symptoms. The objectives of this session are to know about the Ascaris and Trichophyton which cause diseases in human beings, to understand their systemic position and habitat, to learn about the distinguishing features of these organisms, to comprehend the symptoms of the diseases caused by these organisms. Let us study these organisms Ascaris and Trichophyton and diseases caused by them. The materials required for this session are specimen and photograph of Ascaris lumbricoides, compound microscope, permanent slide of Trichophyton rubrum. Let us study the distinctive features of Ascaris lumbricoides through its specimen and photograph. The systemic position of the organism is phylum Ascalminthes, class Nematoda, genus Ascaris, species Lumbricoides. Now what we have observed through the specimen? Ascaris Lumbricoides is commonly called as roundworm. Body is unsegmented and about 20 to 40 centimeter long and cylindrical with 5 to 6 millimeter diameter. Sexes are separate. The females are longer than the males. The ends of the body are pointed and the posterior end of the male is ventrally curved. Mouth is situated at the anterior end and is surrounded by three lips. One present mid dorsally and rest two lips are situated ventrolaterally. You can view these lips using a magnifying lens. Single longitudinal lines are present on the dorsal, ventral and on the two lateral sides all along the length of the body. Out of these, the lateral lines are comparatively more distinct than the rest. Slightly behind the anterior end of the ventral surface, an excretory pore is present. In the male Ascaris, the digestive system and reproductive systems open through a single opening cloaca through which a pair of pineal spicules protrude out during copulation. However, in females, both the systems open separately. The genital aperture is present midventrally at about one third distance from the anterior end, while anus opens at the posterior end. Roundworm or Ascaris is one of the common parasites found in the intestine of human beings. The infection occurs through contaminated food and water. The juveniles reach the human body, migrate through liver, heart, lungs and reach the small intestine where they mature into adults. Adult worms present in the intestine cause constant mechanical irritation. The toxins released by worms result in fever, abdominal cramps, nausea, vomiting, indigestion, loss of appetite and anemia. Now try to answer these questions. Where does Ascaris lumbricoides live in the human beings? How do humans get Ascaris infection? Mention any two points of difference between male and female Ascaris. Let us understand about another pathogen Trichophyton rubrum. We will take the permanent slide of Trichophyton rubrum and observe it under the low power of compound microscope. Let us focus it properly and try to observe the features. We can also observe it under high power of microscope. The systemic position of the organism is Kingdom Fungi, Class Deuteromycetes, Genus Trichophyton, Species Rubrum. Trichophyton rubrum is commonly called ringworm. It is a fungus that feeds on the keratin of human skin. 
In this slide, we can observe that the hyphae of trichophyton rubrum are waxy and glabrous to cotton like. The unstained hyphae vary from white, yellowish brown to reddish brown in color. Ringworm is a contagious fungal infection of the skin. Infected area of the skin is itchy, red and raised with scaly patches with sharply defined edges. It is redder on the periphery than in the center, creating a ring like appearance. Therefore, it is commonly called ringworm fungus. Trichophyton rubrum also causes athlete's foot, tinea pedis, that usually begins between the toes. It commonly occurs in people whose feet become very sweaty when confined within tight fitting shoes. Signs and symptoms of athlete's foot include a scaly rash that usually causes itching, stinging and burning. These fungi can be transmitted by direct contact, by contact with infested particles of dead skin, nails, hair shed by the host and by contact with the fungal spores. Now try to answer these questions. Why is trichophyton called as ringworm fungus? How is trichophyton transmitted to the human beings? What is athlete's foot? How can one acquire this disease? Now let us quickly recapitulate what we have learned today. Today, we understood the distinctive features of two important pathogenic forms, Ascaris and trichophyton, a worm and a fungus, respectively. We also learned about the symptoms of these diseases and the modes of their transmission. I hope you have understood all the details well. Thank you.